Demi. Hi. Two seconds or less. Um, hi, my name is Demi. I go to USF with Caleb. Awesome. We all know Anthony. Give him a big hand. He came in last night about 12.30. And he's wearing a suit. He did that for us. Nice. Thank you. He did it for me. And you look very handsome. And I know, does your mom know about that? Oh, We're going to send her a picture. Demi, make sure you get a picture of her of it so we can text it to her. Gary. Gary Loper, Master of the Twitterverse. And he is. Gary has over 47,000 followers. Oh, I didn't only saw one account. And another hundred on the two secondary. I like you even more. I do. What? So I know why they're here because I guilted them into it. But what about you? What is the number one thing that you want to get out of today? Networking, collaboration. Okay. Looking to be able to. There, you know, there's always gone through several train, sales training courses, but there's you know always looking for something else. I know one of the the gaps for me is that closing and being able to make that reason, make, make that girl scout close, ask for the sale and shut up. <laughs> That's hard, especially. So you're one of those people who's passionate, you have a gift, and you want to help others, yeah. which is everyone in this room, and those are the people that I work with because I'm the same way. And we just, we want to help people and give our gift away, and they'll pay us soon, yeah. one day. If they want more, they'll come back, right? Yep. But we're just really good at it. So, um, all right, thank you for being here. Hi, I'm Jane Talbot. I'm from St. Petersburg. I recently added Collette and looking for what's coming next. Do you know it's already coming? Yes, I it do. It is, woo! It's right it's right. Right. What do you do? What's your plan? I, um, I'm transitioning out of being a project manager for one of the big four accounting firms. Did anyone introduce Dorita to you? <laughs> she, she introduced her. She just transitioned out of being a project manager too for the entire city of Houston. Well, yeah. we have a lot in common, girl. That's what I said. I said that's what she said. Well, what, can I share what you said? Yeah. She says I'm unemployed. I said no, you're in transition. You're in, tra <laughs> yeah, you're in transition. Yeah, you're in you know, it's funny how God brings all the people in my life that are total opposite of me to help me with my weaknesses. Uh, Dorita is here involved with the events because she says I want to see how you crazy people do it. So, so, she, so she's been traveling back and forth, so um, if you can work with me, you can do anything. My mom said that if she could raise me, she could do anything. So, <laughs> but welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Me too. Good morning. I'm Marty Ward, and I am your kiss procrastination goodbye expert. Awesome. Wow. And you awesome. drove the, mm, no, not other than people on my team, you drove the furthest, right? Well, I don't know. I got my Mr. Miami. Miami. He said, I'm on the team. He He's on the oh, team. Oh, I yeah. guilt, remember, I guilted I him. I didn't, guilt, didn't guilt I didn't have to guilt you into it. I had to guilt him. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You have to do that sometimes. I Thank you so much. It's such an honor to have you guys. The, many of you are here, and I've never met you. You came because of someone else who's very, very dear to me that recommended you. And the people that recommended you that, that you come to me, I hold them up here. So I'm very honored that you're here. Thank you. And I, yeah, you have to be related to her when you look like her, but with a different hairdresser. I know, right. And younger, <laughs> sorry, she's younger, I can tell. <laughs> I'm Diana, and I'm just excited to be here. Diana, what do you do? I'm a recruiter at Bright House, so it's the local cable company. Awesome. So you work with people, too. What, what's your gift? Since, since you were a little girl, if I went and asked your mom or your sister or somebody, what would they tell me that you're really good at that no one else does the way you do? Laurel? I think, um, am I... What do you think she's really good at? I think mm -hmm. she's really good at. I think she's really good at tapping into that inner wisdom and sharing that with people. Because I find that we have a lot of conversations. Although, we did not have a conversation today about what we were wearing because we live in different places. <laughs> and we showed up with the same white jackets on. Is that, is that amazing? Some words don't need to yeah. be spoken. And the bottoms too, look at that. I know. Maybe that's why she looks even more like you. That's the so cool. <laughs> so yeah, we, so we, yeah, so we arrived at the same thing. Very far, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I, I know that that's her gift because Diana's eyes had a very close connection with God and the divine in that presence and, and being in that. And I know that she's here to help people and support people. And I feel like as a coach, she, you know, she just has a wisdom far beyond her age, her physical age. And so she's that old soul. She's an old soul. So you and Caleb are very similar. Yeah. So Caleb yes. was that child that he never got into anything. 
Right. I knew the principal since kindergarten, and every year thereafter, he didn't even walk for a year and a half. He just laid there and figured if I stayed here long enough, someone would bring it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I did. And I'll still do it if that's what he wants. But I always noticed that he was that person that even older people came to. He was very intuitive. He was kind. He was generous. He connected with animals. He asked me if he could be a pastor when he was seven. And then after that, he wanted to be a Power Ranger. So. <laughs> And he finally found that place by coming to events like this and being around positive people who tell you that you can do it. I told him all the time he could do it, but I'm his mom, that's my job. And in his mind, that's your job, of course you think I'm cute, you know? But when other people tell you that, which you will get here today, people will, you guys, you have people who've been in this environment for a long time, you're sitting next to somebody like that as well. And I, your sister, that's your job, right? Whenever she says, you're like, yeah, yeah, you always say that. But when you start hearing it from people you've never met before, maybe you start believing it. And then use that as you're doing now, because you're in a great place being a recruiter and working with people, how you can touch them. Mm -hmm. And as you find that place, she won't be so dumb after all. <laughs> but that's awesome that you see that in her. I so Laurel, yeah, so, I'm so glad you're here. I'm yeah, so honored. Thank you for inviting me. Wow. Wow, I'm so glad to be here, and it's in St. Petersburg. I love this, right? It's like every event that I go to, I travel all the time, it's never in St. Petersburg. And wow, we didn't even have to get on a plane today. So thank you, Shelley, for You're welcome. being here. I think like, it's just for you. I know you did. <laughs> and I'm like, this is fantastic. So my name is Laurel Geist, and I actually live here in St. Petersburg. So this is my niece, Diana, who you've all met. And I'm a... Uh, 30 years in corporate America as C-level executive and made my transition. Now I have transitioned to a full-time author, speaker, teacher, spiritual mentor. And uh, so I travel the country and uh, help people. I empower people to listen, align, and act their way to live in their soul and purpose. And I'm really happy to be here and thank you, Shelly, for inviting me. Shelly and I met a few months ago in Tampa and as she said, we've become very close. That um, instant. I mean, like instantaneously, she sat next to me, and I, I started talking to her like we'd known each other forever. But it was even beyond that, because I was like, oh, it was so great to see you get that. You say congratulations on your award. Yeah, congratulations on what award, you know? And I was like, well, I don't know where that came from. But, you know, we became instant friends, and she invited me down to her event in Boca Raton, and that's where... Thank you, Caleb. I got to sleep in Caleb's bed. It's okay. Shelly and Mike uh, and then... I think three people in this room have slept in my bed. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, Maybe so, more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Caleb. And then the next night, Shelly and I awesome. slept in uh, the bed in the hotel. So thank you, Shelly. Yeah. Yeah. So we became fast friends. Let me say. And Jarita slept in there, too. I was going to say, I was like, he's cheating. We were all there. I, <laughs> I, I did. I go, Laura was in here before you. Yeah. We're all blessed now. <laughs> But, um, but I can, you know, I just want to say that the reason I'm here is because of Shelly, because when I met her, she has been so supportive of everything that I'm doing, and she has been so open-hearted in saying, you know, hey, come on and share some time with me and meet the people that I'm working with, and I'm very grateful for her for, uh, for doing that, because it, what's interesting in, for me is that you know, 30 years in corporate, and then the pendulum swung over here into spirituality, and now the pendulum seems to be coming back into the middle. So that's why I'm so thrilled to be here today, because, you know, we're talking about, you know, running our businesses and being entrepreneurs and, and giving that life purpose to the world, um, and I, I'm really just so honored to be able to bring the business and the spirituality together. So. You made a good choice for being here today. Wise, well done. Well done. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, how many of you know somebody who's a spiritual guide, is very woo-woo, is chasing you around, telling you what you need to do and how to run your life, and you need to pray over this, and you need to do this? Everybody knows one of those, right? So one of the differences that, and first of all, they probably are wearing Birkenstocks and have flowers in their hair and all this stuff. Why not? Well, so I run the other, I coach them, I help them actually make money, because they don't know how to ask for money. They think they're going to pray and it'll come out of the sky. So, <laughs> but so we work, I work with them and they're very successful. I mean, even Lisa Thrash is making money from a product she created called um, Energy in a Box. 
But I met Laurel, and she's in a suit. She looked like she just walked out of a bank. So I'm like, I'm having a drink at the table at happy hour, and she says, congratulations on your award. I said, what award? She says, hmm, thought you won one. I said, no, no. She says, you will. <laughs> and now she's got an invitation to go get an award. <laughs> um, and we just really connected. But so those people who were telling me these things, I grew up in a very specific religion. My mom is a pastor, so that whatever I believed in was very, very shoved down my throat, and I believed in it. I didn't even let him go see Harry Potter when he was growing up. Those were my beliefs. So I didn't really relate to on a spiritual level. But what I noticed about Laurel, what's different about her, other people take you down their spiritual journey. She takes you down yours. And that's the key. It's not what she believes, it's what you believe, and she guides you down that. And when she showed me this book, it was called The Jesus Seed, I was like, huh, oh, what's that, you know? And I'm not a good reader when it comes to reading things long term, or more than a couple of pages. Thankfully, each chapter is a couple of pages. So I'm almost done with this book, and I actually use it to relax in the morning when I take a bath and have that time to myself. This is an amazing book. Um, it's very enlightening. It's really helped me on my journey the last few months to really stay grounded and centered and understand. And I, I was, I asked, um, this is not, we're not in church, but I asked God to please show me in a way that I would understand because I was getting a lot of information from all these different directions and I didn't know what to believe and what not to believe because I had 46 years of what I believed. And he said, well, so thank you. So if you guys have an opportunity to pick up her book, um, please do. It's an amazing book. Thank you. Um, share, please. Hi. Hi. I'm uh, Evie. Um, I'm from St. Petersburg. I sell phones over at T-Mobile. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, We're going to have fun with you. Thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And what do you want to get out of today? Uh, knowledge. Knowledge? Mm -hmm. To do what? Anything. From, like, open to any kind of experience or... Do we have a stick or a do we have a stick or a wand or a oh, something yeah, or a, a magic wand? Yeah, a magic wand. Actually, I did a strategy session with a 35 year magician last week, and I told him I need to borrow his magic wand. Let's see, you have any? You don't need these mics. Why are the mics back here? Yeah. Are these working? If you turn them on. Turn them on. Okay. So today is called what? Speak, sell, serve. So you guys are sitting down now and. The other event that we had, which was a lot more people, a lot of people I know, my clients, we had those rows like that. There was no tables. It's not as comfortable as it is today, but people had to get up and come to the front and speak. That's what we really want. We want you to get comfortable with standing up, speaking, sharing your message. Here, you can screw up all day because we love each other. That way, when you leave here, you're clear. When you leave here, people don't glaze over when you start telling them what you do. When you leave here, people know what you do, and they know it in a way they want what you have. Okay, so here's a magic wand. It's not on yet, but we can turn it on. So do me a favor and is red on? Up. Up. Oh There's Up. no green, it's either red or red. Okay. Up. Up. We're not <laughs> asking about colors. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go like that, like it's a magic wand. So let's pretend that it's a magic wand and you can have any one thing out of today that you want. What do you think that would be? Stand up. No. Yeah. Right. And you will never be in a place that has more love and acceptance for whatever you could possibly say or do. I promise. So what would you like to have today? One thing that you want to get out of today so I can make sure that I do my best job to do that for you. You, get a, you have a prescription. One thing, you came, you got up early, you took a shower, you got all handsome, and you came out just to see the girls. What one thing, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but really, I want you to just tell me what you would like, and I'll make sure that I do that for you. I'd like to be able to close. Be able to close. Yeah. I can do that. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So you're going to learn how to do that today. Will that make you, how will that make you feel if you learn how to close when you leave? Rich. Rich? Ooh, I like that. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for playing. Remember, I don't know if you guys saw the thing. We're going to play full out today, right? Thank you. What? Ian? Evie. Evie. I can't. 
with my glasses on, and it looks fabulous today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they didn't get to stand up, but here we go. So stand up, tell us who you are, and what you want to get out of today. And when you're not using the mic as a wand, hold it close to your mouth. <laughs> My name is Nina McNeil, and I live in Palmetto, just over the bridge. Uh, what I want to say was kind of close. I'm um, involved in network marketing, and I also am launching a food truck this week. Um, a food truck? <laughs> What's a food truck? It's a food that we sell on a mobile truck. Is it specific food, or is it like the bear girl the buffer? Healthy food, I'm vegetarian. Oh, healthy food what? Vegetarian. I didn't know that. This is awesome. Oh, awesome. There's your first customer right there. <laughs> he loves that stuff. Awesome. We launched the 26th, and we'll do events in St. Pete, Bradenton, Sarasota, Tampa. Really? Okay, we have to. Okay, yes. We and I, I, I will say, I had a meeting this morning in Sarasota. I have to leave early to do mm -hmm. an event in Brandon. But I, I met Shelly through WPN, and when I found out she was doing an event here, I was like, I have to be there for something to support. And I got a massage from Anthony at the, at the conference. I knew I it was that awesome. Before. how to make it here for this and, and fit everything in, but I just felt like there was whatever reason I was supposed to be here, even yeah. for the short two hours. And just listening to everybody introduce themselves, I was like getting goosebumps. I'm like, these yeah. people are awesome. There's a reason why I'm here. So. Oh, I got goosebumps. Glad you guys are here. So I got a text yeah. this morning from, where's my, did my phone, in my, my phone in there? Let me tell you this. Who here knows Jessica Brace? So Jessica Brace has her own video marketing company. She was on my panel at the last event because of our friendship over several years. But she's also a videographer for Tony Robbins and his personal assistant. So she kind of knows some things. And the text I got this morning from her says, Be awesome. The universe has placed exactly the right people in the room for you today and for each other. So you know that because you know it's true. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. And if you go and you want to come back, come back. We're going to be here for the evening for cocktail party, and it's going to be a good one because we're I'm Monica Grajales. Um, I'm closer. Monica Grajales. <laughs> um, I'm in South Tampa. Um, I've been in business for, uh, in April, April would be three years. Um, and I promised myself that entering my fourth year, things were going to change drastically. Um, so what I want to get out of here is trying to figure out what are some of the things that I'm doing wrong because I feel that everything that I do is right but it's not working for me. Mm -hmm. So I just need to know what I'm doing wrong. What you could do differently. Yeah. You're probably not doing anything wrong. Oh, but I had a meeting. Why are you here oh, today? Oh, well, you come I, here? I met Shelly yesterday uh, at a holistic uh, camp, uh, the Tampa Bay mm -hmm. Holistic Network, um, and uh, she showed up a little late, mm -hmm. and uh, she was just, you know, very friendly and very outgoing. And um, I shared something with her in uh, one of the services that I provide, and she mentioned some of the reasons why people would get those services, mm -hmm. and it's amazing because no one, when I when I mentioned this specific service, no one actually says that word. She said the word love. And uh, I share with her some of the phone calls that I get and the weird things that happen with that call. Which but, after everyone gets more comfortable, we'll probably right. share that. But uh, <laughs> it, it, it caught my attention that she actually... Call, but it will share it yeah. <laughs> But it, 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 it caught my attention that she actually said the word love because that's probably what people need when, the, when they request that service. It's, and it's not everybody. No. Not everybody will pay money for love. But remember we talked... It, one, one of the things I promised you I is... Will. <laughs> no, you don't. It's not love that you're paying for, honey. Um, <laughs> oh, there's ten things, ten top things that people will pay money for. Number one is to make money. Number two is to save money. Number three is to save time. Number four is to get out of pain. They don't pay after they're out of pain, Anthony. It's to get out of pain. And another one is love, admiration, and respect. But that may not be, but that's only for people that that's one of their top values. There's no way you can know that unless you ask specific questions, which we'll talk about throughout the day on how to ask that. And guess what? This works for phone sales. I was number 23 in the nation for United States Cellular when I was 25 years old and I won trips all around the country selling cell phones. 
So I know it's like, it's a hard job. I used to have to convince people to buy a phone for their wife. Then people don't have cell phones. And people want to add that extra expense. And I would say, don't you want your wife to be safe? It's not going to look at me and say, no. Right? You want your wife to be safe when she's out? And months later he goes, she won't stop talking and I have to upgrade my plan. So, <laughs> so, oh, so, I guess I'm just hitting this thing here. Okay. So that's in love and admiration, and we'll keep that here. Go ahead. Keep talking. Oh, and I just meant to say, uh, my business is skincare. It's not my name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. She's actually an organic esthetician. Holistic. Holistic. She uses organic products. She's an esthetician. I've already told Caleb he needs to connect with her later because poor kid, he got my complexion. Not as bad, thank goodness. But um, she's, the, some of the things she was talking about are amazing. So if you have time to connect with her. I just met her yesterday. I got her to come over yesterday. I'm so glad we instantly connected. And she's, she's fabulous. So who here's ever wondered what it would be like if you had a signature talk that you could use anywhere, anytime, any place. Anyone here? Most of you. I mean, you're in, you're in retail, but to be able to position yourself as an expert and be able to do a talk somewhere would be awesome. And all it's going to do is continue to position you as an expert in what you are. Also, who has ever wondered what it would be exactly how to be like to exactly how to attract your perfect ideal client? We know how to attract clients. We wouldn't be here if we didn't. Many of us, but to attract a perfect one. To attract the perfect one. I told why well, I called Lauren as soon as I met her and I said, this woman is like my perfect ideal client. She is because she's awesome at what she does. She has a business mind. She understands why she needs to make money and it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with I need money so I can touch more people. Because she has a gift and she wants to touch more people, right? And she has values. Also, who here? Has ever wondered what it'd be like if you had a sales funnel, products and services that were lined up one after another, so you could make sale after sale after sale. Wouldn't that be cool? Because you know, if you have one product, wouldn't you want them to come back, stop them from shopping? And what about? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to serve your clients in a way that they keep coming back over and over again? It's kind of tough when you're selling a cell phone, right? But there are ways to do it. And the things you're going to learn here today are ways that you can lead people through that process. The same way with you, too. As you're a recruiter and you bring someone into your funnel, continue to follow up and implement systems, the same stuff we're teaching here today, you'll be able to use that. And also, to turn your gift, your passion, what's in your heart, what you know that you were given to be able to make that a profitable business and make money from it. Who would like that? Awesome. Okay. So, I love your lecture. Yeah. So you're about to discover the secrets of speaking and sponsoring, even networking, that's going to turn your prospects into new clients, even when you can't sell anything. So how many times has anybody here where they go, especially Bright House here, when you go and talk or you do a speech or you're training and you want to turn people into clients but you can't sell anything, how do you do that? Who would like to know how to do that? Awesome. And how to stop giving away your services for free or really cheap? Anthony's like looking guilty, <laughs> right? And exactly what you say to potential clients so they hear what you have to say and they can't wait to work with you because of it. And then the three biggest things, Caleb's going to talk to us about this, the three biggest things that are getting in your way from having exactly everything that you want. And my personal secrets on how to build your list, and Gary could probably teach this class too, and build your sales funnel and every activity that you're already doing, one thing after another. How do you do that? Who here is already building their list with the CRM? So Anthony, Gary, of course. You already have an opt-in on your website and all that. Good. Building your list? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. She had a huge list, too. People all over the world. We're going to talk about the top reasons why people pay for your services. I just shared with you some of them. And also how to serve your clients so they work over and over. Learn and practice the perfect three-point talk this afternoon. We're going to do that together. And we're going to have a championship at the end of the day. So we're going to break up into small teams, and then you guys are going to pick the person who's the strongest, and they're going to compete against each other, and the winner's going to be based on applause. And then you get nice prizes. And if we have strong speakers, then we're going to split you guys up. Can't be in the same team, and we give everybody a, a fighting chance. And then the number one thing that, oh, I'm also going to share the exact system I use where I can turn free sessions or free consultations into a $4,000 client. 
that works over and over again. And then also the number one thing you're going to change in your message. And we talked a lot about that yesterday at lunch. That you change in your message that's going to make you more money. Who wants to make more money? Woohoo! Okay. So today, that really went quick. We're going to talk about the passion and profit system this afternoon, but today you're going to be ready to speak, ready to sell, and ready to serve. I bet you everyone here is ready to serve already. Yeah? Who wants to be an awesome speaker, in, whether you're talking to one or talking to a hundred? Yes. Okay. We're going to give away prizes. So, the only requirements I have today is that we have fun and I get to give away prizes. Who wants prizes? Okay, let's see what do I have. First person up here will get this. Come on. And I told y'all to wear comfortable shoes if you got the email. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to make it harder. You're welcome. Awesome. Woohoo. She came from all the way over to Gary. It's John. Just let her go. I'm going to you know, so I made this comfortable for you, not against you. It's comfortable in here. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> do, do some stretches. We have a massage therapist in the house. Don't worry. <laughs> what? Two? Two? Who else? He's a massage therapist too? Three. He's the lot lot. Oh, three. They're lot lots. They do a little of this, yeah. a little of that. Okay. Very multi talented. Later is a That's why you have so many different Twitter accounts too, probably. No. You just say you ran out like they only let you have so many? No. No, I don't know enough about Twitter to, to know. Well, actually, this, the two second, the, the second and third account that I had were for clients who um, lost focus and they didn't want to continue working with Twitter. So they were the similar clients that I was looking for, similar messages. So I just took over the accounts and put my name on it. So it works out great for. That's genius. It it, it's great for Twitter parties. A Twitter party? There's a party I don't know about? Oh, there are Twitter parties. It's a whole other marketing brand <laughs> aspect that we can, that we can talk about. Gary, yeah, we need to talk. Yep. But, yeah. but with the Twitter party, you know, one of the rules on Twitter is you can you can tweet a thousand times a day, but only about a hundred times an hour. So if you're on a Twitter party and you're tweeting a lot, you can get thrown into Twitter jail. So then you it's like Facebook jail. I've been thrown in Facebook jail. I've been in Facebook jail a lot. But, but and I've, I've never jail. been in jail in this country. But, but, it's, yeah, but it, it's just there and I'm using it for different, the, the third account I just took over, put my name on it, I'm going to use that to support other people mm -hmm. and I'm going to look for the hashtags so I can automatically retweet okay. their stuff. So wonderful. So who wants to have lunch with Gary so we can talk about Twitter? Because I don't have time in the, in the, the program so, for him. Next time we do an event, we should have you as a guest speaker. But for those of you that upgraded to VIP, we're going to he Gary as a VIP because we, we called him up when we knew he had 47,000 followers and we said, we're going to upgrade you to VIP, we just want you to share. <laughs> Wait, and I didn't know there was 147. He may have got to sleep with us tonight. I don't know. <laughs> That's us. All of us. <laughs> um, but I'm so glad that you're here. So, so at lunch, at VIP lunch, um, all of your lunch is included. You also have gift bags. It's only 40 bucks for the entire thing. Your lunch is included. The alcohol, if you can come back, is included tonight and apps. And the gift bags, too, that have massages. They have all kinds of different services. Um, there's, there's, I'll, have, I'll pull one out and then explain what services are in there. Oh, it is? One of your yeah. collaboration books? Okay, I wrote, very good. I wrote a chapter in Jessica's book. Oh, it is? Yeah. Jessica's book is in there. It just came out. It's 101 ways to use YouTube videos. And you have a Twitter party in there. Okay, awesome. We have an expert panel that's going to be here at the end of the morning. And you guys are going to hear from people who have used speaking to grow their business or people who work in the event industry are going to be able to share some things that they see with speakers, what they should or should not do. So, Demi, the other day when I put you on the spot at the chamber, she didn't talk to anybody an hour before that, I took her to the chamber expo and I said, here you go, you're going to go talk to people about speak self service. She went, um, what? So, she talked to everybody, she did a great job, and uh, what was the one thing that I said that you did too much? Um. Um. And why did you say um? Do you remember what I told you? Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Pausing between, uh, like, sentences mm -hmm. or, um. Um, phrases, like instead of taking a breath, I would say um. Mm -hmm. And so. so people say um. <clears throat>
because they're thinking of what to say. So when you say, I'm your one, um, that means you're thinking to yourself out loud. So just don't think to yourself out loud. And then if that's be, being wary of it or cognizant of it, what time is break? What time is break? Okay. And um, um, we're going to have um, some fun, right? So we're going to have fun today. And she's going to win all the prizes if you guys don't pick it up, okay? Except Caleb. Caleb will like, try to win. So Caleb, give everyone else at least a head start. Okay, honey? Okay. <laughs> Everything is either an opportunity to learn and grow, 